Okay, hear me out here. Now, cars have suspension, but what if cars were suspension? Think about it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and today we're going to be trying to build a car made as much out of suspension as I possibly can. Now, the only reason why this might be able to work is because we have an angled suspension, which allows us to attach things from one point and then off axis to another point. And we also have straight suspension, which just allows us to continue to attach things in a line. And these straight suspensions also have attachment points on the side. So this gives us actually a decent amount of freedom to build in various directions using exclusively these pieces. So I want to see if I can actually create a car where the entire frame of the car, outside of the functional parts like the seat and the steering hinges and the wheels, everything is just suspension. Assuming the game hasn't broken completely by then, I just, I just want to see what happens when we try to drive it around, if we can even drive it around. So I'm going to get building and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here is the car. I haven't tested it out whatsoever yet. We're at 690 out of 700 complexity points because the suspension are five points a piece for complexity. So I barely had enough room. I wanted to add some more framing onto the roof and stuff, but uh, I was reaching my complexity limit. So I had to make some sacrifices. So this is the back of the car. Oh, I forgot to put lights on the front. Hold on. All right, there we go. I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do for lights. Okay, so I think I did an okay job of making it look like a car from the profile point of view. But as far as functionality goes, I don't know what to expect. I have a feeling it's just going to be too floppy and it's not going to be able to do anything. But as you can see, pretty much every single aspect of it other than the necessary pieces are suspension pieces. So here we go. Spawning in in three, two, one. Oh no, it doesn't like it. It does not like it at all. Okay, well, I'm going to hop in the seat now and we're going to... We're gonna see if we can drive this thing around. What? What is this? <laughs> um... This makes me a little bit uncomfortable. 
I knew this wasn't gonna work very well, but I didn't know what I, I would expect to see. And this is really interesting. This feels like, uh, what is, what is, how would you describe this? It feels like I'm driving before my car has finished loading in. Like that, that's kind of what it feels like. Okay, but there's something, there's something that we can do here. I didn't change any of the strength or dampening settings on these things. Uh, so I'm gonna high, oh, I have to, I have to only select those pieces though. Well, that's gonna be tedious. I think it's easier to deselect pieces rather than select the ones that I want. So I'm gonna deselect the ones that I don't want and then hopefully I'll be able to access the settings. All right, I did it. I've deselected everything other than the straight suspension. So I'm just gonna max out the settings on this suspension. And now I'm gonna go for the angled suspension because they each have their own settings categories. And there's not really that many angled suspension on this. So I think that's all of them. And then I'll go ahead and max out the settings on this. Now let's see if we have a more stable car. It looks more stable. It's kind of sad when this is the more so- oh wait, I'm seeing an issue here. There's, uh, there's a disconnect. Yeah, this is not connected, which is making this flop down and kind of useless, but... Okay, so just for the sake of, uh, trying to save any hope that this thing is gonna work, I'm just gonna add a single bar of connection stability here, just to prevent this from flopping down. And this is gonna be, like, one of the very, very few things that are not made out of suspension. Alright, there we go. See, look at that! The, the whole side panel is now much more unified. Okay, so, can we drive now? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love how the whole front just curved up to the side. That looked great. Oh no, the wheels cannot stay straight at all. This is terrible. This is the worst idea I think I've ever had in Trailmakers. Okay, let's try to actually get a look. Oh. We can almost, like, look at the, the whole back end is extremely unsupported and unstable. Like, the wheels will actually twist out, out back of, wait, what is, look at, alright, let's try to get a, a feel for what's going on in the back. I, I can't see what's going on at all. I, I really cannot, it, it, it's so hard to see. <laughs> it's glitching everywhere, what am I supposed to even do? Oh, right, here's the issue, yeah, this entire wheel axle is only attached here. So basically, it can just fold down when this back end flexes. So I need to attach it somewhere up in the front section too, but where? Okay, here we go. If I rotate this, so we have a point facing onto the inside, this could work. And then I can rotate this middle one to have a point facing onto the inside like that. But I can't use this. I have five pieces left. This might not work. This is gonna be very, very intentional. All right, that piece goes there. This piece goes there, and then we need two. Oh man, we are so close. I'm gonna be at 99. Look at this. 699, just to stabilize that one part. Let's see if that helps. I don't know. I don't know if that's helping. Oh, oh wow. Wow, big difference. Oh, <laughs> huge difference. Wait, what? Why did we just like flip over? Why is anything happen- oh man. Wow, that front end just torques so hard. Oh wait, what- oh, is my wheel not even attached? <gasps> my wheel isn't attached. My front wheels are like detached. This is attached there, which is attached there. But wait, is this side not attached? Oh, this side got messed up. Okay, here we go. That should fix it. That should fix it. There are so many little details. All right, so now our front end should be more stable. Uh, hey, hey, look at this. Look at this. It's actually driving. If that's what you want to call this, it's driving. <laughs> I can't stay straight. This has to be the stupidest idea I've come up with. I don't even know how this popped into my head. It literally just popped into my head and I was like, that's a great idea. Clearly I was wrong. Or was I? Was I really wrong though? Like, this is a great idea. I am not disappointed by these results at all. This thing is, like, it doesn't break. I mean, it's broken, but it doesn't, like, fall apart. Well, I mean, it separates in a lot of places, but 
it doesn't lose pieces. I'm, just, I'm really trying to figure out how to describe this thing because everything is right and wrong at the same time. All right, you know what? This is basically a giant cushion because it's suspension pieces. Look at that. <laughs> it didn't even explode. I, can I explode a barrel with this? I, if I can even run into one. All right, full speed ahead. Okay, that didn't work. All right, full speed backwards. Okay, that's not working either. All right, full speed ahead. What? What? We are so soft that we absorb, like, all the impact. We can't even explode a thing going head on. I'm, I gotta do a catapult with this. I gotta see if we can actually land with a catapult launch. But for- I wanna- I really wanna see if I can, like, explode one of these things. I don't think I can do this. We absorb... Okay, well, that- that answers that question. All right, let's see if I can drive myself over to the catapult and then uh, place your bets. Are we going to get destroyed when we land or is this thing just going to absorb all the impact and still be able to function? Look at this. We're, we have a drivable vehicle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, here goes nothing. What's going to happen? Eh? Oh man, actually. We can still drive. We lost like a quarter of our vehicle, but this thing is still kind of functional. This is insanity. You know what? I got to be honest. I'm surprised I was able to even spawn this thing in without crashing the game. Here, what happens if I go into the bowl? I'm going to try to go, go right into the bowl. Just jump into the bowl. Just go into the... I can't even go into the... All right. What? There wasn't even any sound on the impact there. You think I can get out of the bowl? Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh man, this thing. Oh, whoa. Let's just, oh, okay, well, that, I would have gotten out of the bowl if it wasn't for the fence that time. It is so weird to watch it like just compress like a ball as it lands. It's basically one giant flat tire. This entire vehicle is just a flat tire. Oh, look at this. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> All right, I can't get out of the bowl. I'm sorry. Uh, let's try it on some of these destructive things. Let's see what happens if we feed it into a grinder. Oh, whoa. Does this, is it just me or does this seem more messed up than previously? Oh, this is definitely more messed up than previously. What happens if I repair? I think the game is starting to hate me. Like more, gradually more and more, the game is starting to hate this creation because it is definitely glitching out m more extremely than before. This is so weird. Okay, well, we're still drivable and controllable. Let's see what happens here. All right, well, yeah, I guess I guess we all could have predicted that, huh? Oh, what about the spinner gauntlet? Because it can kind of absorb impact, so I don't actually know what to expect with the spinner gauntlet. This is the strangest creation I've built. All right, here we go. Well, yo, what does first person look like in this thing? I have to know. Okay, this is, uh, oh boy, this is first person. Ah, it hurts. It hurts my eyes. I don't know what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm gonna go off a jump. Eh. Okay, we landed. Oh, this is, this is rough. This is really, really rough. Okay, I don't want I don't want that anymore. I don't like that. All right, I'm just gonna open the throttle. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can for as long as I can. I'm not gonna turn or do anything. I'm just gonna let the vehicle do whatever it desires at full throttle. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'm not doing the turning. It's doing, it's doing all of this. Okay, and it flipped over. All right, I think hydraulic press is the logical conclusion to this. We gotta put this thing, gotta test the suspension, make sure the suspension compresses, you know, appropriately. And I think the hydraulic press is the, the most appropriate way to test this out. I gotta admit, it's a lot more controllable than I ever expected it to be. All right, here we go, hydraulic press. All right, um, the results of that were inconclusive. I'm gonna say that uh, this does not pass typical safety standards and it's going to need some more adjustment before it can 
Oh no. Look at it just sit there. It just can't, it can't even sit still. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a car made completely out of suspension pieces. So I, I hope uh, it is everything you ever dreamed it would be because it, it, it was for me. If you want to see more crazy trail makers experiments, then you're going to want to check out this playlist right here on the end screen. Also check the link down in the description if you want to get some merch and help support the channel. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.